Brett Hillbrand with Cornerstone Tiny Homes. Uh, it's Monday, September 5th, and I've already gotten, it's about 9.30 in the morning, I've already gotten two phone calls from uh, worried homeowners uh, that are in the path of this Hurricane Irma, so I figured we'd do a quick little video to show everybody how to tie their homes down. Now, um, this by no means is permission to ride out a Category 5 hurricane in a tiny home or any structure for that matter. The best, the best thing to do is to get out if you can. All I'm trying to do is show you a way that you may have a home to come back to once, once the hurricane's gone. Now, in our Cornerstone, I believe we're, I, I'm not sure how many people are doing this, but Cornerstone, this is what we do. We've done this for years with our full-size structures too. It's a bolt system that we run to the ceiling and then run it all the way from the, from the roof line down through the house, and it's on each side of an opening, in one in each corner, and then uh, every four feet throughout the house. Uh, typically our 28 foot homes have about 30 to 32 of these bolts in them. So uh, I'll show you how we can tie it down on another house, but I wanted to show you how these things are actually connected. side of the house, the bolt, we protrude the bolt down through the, the frame of the trailer by about an inch to an inch and a half. Just enough to get one of these on there. That's a coupling nut. A coupling nut is just like a regular nut except for it's longer. And you can run it, you can run something into each end of this bolt or the nut. So when we uh, you screw your coupling nut onto the end of the, the rod that's in the house, And then we use an eye bolt. My recommendation is to use a, a, the heaviest eye bolt you can get. This is what we had available to us this morning at a Home Depot. This, one's, this one will, do, will certainly help, but this one is not as beefy as what you really want to use. You really want to use something a little heavier duty than this. I just wanted to do this for demonstrational purposes. Then you take your eye bolt and you thread it up into the, into the coupling nut. and get it tight. Now we've got to connect that to a, a mobile home hold down. This, this, piece, this part screws down into the ground. Again, this is not a big enough piece to use and, feel, and make me feel very comfortable about it. But for demonstrational purposes, I want to show you a smaller one just to get an idea of what you're looking for. This would go, would screw down into the ground and then protrude up out of the ground a little ways there. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a coupling nut. There's a lot of ways you can do it from here. You can use aircraft cable and loop it through here and loop it through this, loop, loop it through the eye bolt here. But I'm just gonna show you this one. In this case, we're just gonna use a coupler. Tighten it down, again, with this piece being locked on into the ground. Do that as many times as you can around your home. That's your best defense against the storm.